Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we'll discuss some Raspberry Pi project ideas. Without further ado, let's get started. Michael used his Raspberry Pi to make a portable mini server. He added a UPS module to it that gives the Pi an additional runtime of 90 minutes in case of a power outage. A tiny OLED on one side of the acrylic case displays the performance stats for the Pi, as well as stats for the UPS. For cooling, a low-profile ice tower is used. Moreover, a couple of vent holes and a cooling fan are added, so that air would be forced around the Pi and further cool the UPS and batteries. Meet Autobill, a fast and effective setup to generate shopping bills, thus reducing the checkout time. This project might look like a product, but it's completely DIY. It identifies the objects using a camera placed above, while the load cell at the bottom weighs the object. The object, along with its weight, price and quantity is then automatically added to the cart and the bills generated, thus omitting the need for human involvement. The users can simply pay the total amount and collect their groceries. Thus, it reduces the chances of forming long queues. Are you also tired of those messy connections while building a project? Then you must switch to this method. Using the magnetic lock system, you can connect various blocks by just picking and placing them. Each block can be individually addressed and controlled using other blocks, you can even combine multiple blocks to work on a specific application. Whether it be object detection, object tracking, or home automation, these blocks give you the flexibility of creating any project. In order to remotely control his telescope's cooling system, Michael relied on a home assistant. To make it work, he put two temperature sensors in the telescope. The first one is placed inside the mirror, while the other lies outside, sensing the ambient temperature. The home assistant compares both the temperature values and, based on the difference, it then turns the cooling system on and off. The smart dashboard makes it easy to track the performance of the cooling system and make certain changes from anywhere. Our next project is a Pi computer with a mechanical keyboard powered by Raspberry Pi Pico and designed by Peter. He calls it Mechsanger. It contains many retro video games for you to enjoy, but the best part is the backlit keyboard, giving you a PC gameplay-like experience. What's even more remarkable is the PCB on which all the components are soldered, making the project very thin. And to place the screen, he made a cutout in the PCB and protected it with a coverboard. This solved two things for him. First, it kept the display firmly in its position, and second, it reduced the overall thickness of the project. If you're looking for a Raspberry Pi alternative that could offer both power and versatility, then the Zimaboard 832 can serve the purpose. It's a budget-friendly single-board server designed exclusively for makers and geeks. In terms of design, the Zima board stands out with its sleek aesthetics featuring metal cooling fins, minimalistic branding, and the layout maximizing functionality. The ports are strategically placed on it, which include two SATA ports, an exposed PCIe slot, and a comprehensive array on the back, including two Ethernet ports, two USB-A ports, a power port, and a mini display port. Dive deeper into its capabilities in the concluding segment of the video. If you're a diehard fan of the Harry Potter series and want to relive the experience, then we have something magical for you. When you draw certain letters in the air with this wand, it'll perform some activity. Like drawing the letter A represents Alohomara, which opens up a box. The tip of the wand has an infrared LED. A night vision camera captures these movements and streams the video to Raspberry Pi. The patterns are recognized by machine learning models and using Raspberry Pi, the tasks are performed. 
This Cyberdeck uses a waterproof plano box that keeps the inner components safe. Inside it lies a 10-inch screen, a Raspberry Pi 400, and a 40,000 mAh power bank to run everything. In order to give the Cyberdeck a tidy look, all the connections are kept below the monitor screen. In fact, the use of wall plate keystones at the side of the screen is an interesting way to recharge the battery pack, as well as make connections with the Pi 400 without removing the components. Overall, the simple design and the use of a minimum number of components make this Cyberdeck worth trying. What do you think? If one cooling fan's not giving you the desired performance, then you may attach multiple fans to your Pi, just like Michael did. He placed 24 fans on his Raspberry Pi 4B. By using an acrylic sheet for the frame, he covered his Pi from all sides. He split the fans evenly so that the fans on one side push the air into the case and the fans on the other side pull the air out. As compared to the ice tower, the temperature of the Pi, in this case, was 4 to 5 degrees lower while running at 1.5 gigahertz as well as at 2.2 gigahertz. This is a handheld computer made by Peter. It contains a 2.8 inches OLED display and a QWERTY keyboard. With this, you can send messages, do some coding, play some games, and much more. This project is assembled using PCBs, which gives you the option to connect different types of displays and microcontroller boards on it. It also removes the hassle of connecting components. It can be powered in two ways, using a USB cable or a rechargeable battery pack. But don't try to power it using both sources at a time as it might damage the board. This one is the most compact Cyberdeck on our list. It's made using two different parts, the screen and the keyboard. Using a hinge, the keyboard can be folded down to cover it. Behind the 3.5-inch screen lies a Raspberry Pi Zero W, neatly enclosed inside a 3D-printed frame. The Cyberdeck runs on two 18650 batteries that are placed behind the panel, just below the screen. The keyboard fits into the case using magnetic phone mounts, it's a Bluetooth keyboard that makes the overall design simple and reduces the number of connecting wires. If you think that using a fan to cool a pie is not that efficient, then you can try this project. Using a steel plate, nuts, and bolts, Timmy made a perfect passive cooling setup for his pie. He made a hole in the steel plate and placed a large bolt that rests over the SOC. In idle conditions, this setup was 10 degrees cooler than the Pi with no heatsink. Under the full stress test, this DIY heatsink's temperature was around 55 degrees Celsius, which was way less than the throttling temperature that the other Pi reached. It also gave good results when the Pi was overclocked. Improper waste disposal is one of the concerning ways that is polluting the environment. To address this issue, Akhtar decided to build a neural network-based robot that can classify different kinds of trash with the help of Edge Impulse. It runs on Python scripts and can be operated remotely. The laser scanner guides the robot around its environment, thus avoiding obstacles. As it travels around, it captures images with the webcam, which are classified by the neural network. This project's dedicated to every tech nerd out there, a clock that displays time in the binary number system. It's a great way to practice your programming and electronic skills. The project consists of a circular PCB with multiple LEDs soldered to it. The LEDs at the bottom represent hours, the LEDs in the middle section represent minutes, and the LEDs at the bottom represent seconds. The clock's powered by a Raspberry Pi Pico module soldered at the bottom. At its core, the Zimaboard 832 boasts an Intel quad-core processor, dynamically operating between 1.1 GHz and 2.2 GHz. Its x86 architecture sets it apart, enabling compatibility with a diverse array of operating systems, including Linux, Windows, Android, OpenWrt, PFSense, and LibreLeq. The 832 variant's equipped with 8GB of LPDDR4 RAM 
and 32GB of onboard eMMC storage. This not only enables you to set up a secure VPN or precise network fine-tuning, but you can also develop a 4K streaming server or a personal NAS with a whopping 4TB cloud. All in all, it's your reliable partner for all your tech projects. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel to keep supporting us. We'll be back with some great project ideas soon. Till then, goodbye!